Hi, I'm Chris, N9CVR. In this video, we're going to take a look at using QSSTV in Linux with a Yaesu FT991A through USB. All right, so the first thing to note is I am using Linux Mint here. Um, this is a relatively new version. I don't rem I don't keep track of numbers and you know wh which version number or whatever, but it's it's up to date as of 2022. So um, the major difference between your Linux and mine may be how the sound server is, is set up. Um, Linux Mint uses pulse audio. Um, the kind of traditional method of doing it in uh, for Linux is ALSA. So uh, let's hop into QSS TV here and we're going to go options, make sure everything's set up right, go configuration. And you want to have input audio device, USB audio codec, same thing output, USB audio codec. Now, one thing I've been kind of discovering is uh, you actually, in, in at least in Linux Mint, you end up with two sound cards here, the IEC 958 and HW card. Um, they're both Again, what you're looking for is USB audio codec. That's how the 991A shows up uh, in Linux. Um, honestly, I've been finding sometimes you have to switch between the two. Um, I was actually just about to start recording this, and I had to restart the computer because I couldn't find uh, the 991A connected to the computer. Um, I switched this around, and then it seems fine so I don't know um, again I'm using pulse audio which we'll talk about in just just a second um, input and output clock frequencies 48 kilohertz from sound card to sound card this swap left and right channel doesn't seem to make any difference now let's take a step back and look at this pulse audio thing um, the pulse audio server attempts to uh, switch your your audio between different devices. Um, that's something at least back when I was messing around a lot with Alsa, it did not do very well, uh, Alsa being the other uh, sound server. And uh, I think Pulse Audio attempts to make that better is, is kind of my read of it. I could be wrong there. Um, but it's not perfect. So um, what I find I have to do pretty much every time I, I um, run QSS TV or switch between sound cards really is I'm going to go in my menu here and I'm going to go sound. And this will open up this dialog box. Uh, we got a couple of things you may not have this. This is a piece of software I tried to install to help things along here and I don't know if it seems maybe it made a difference. I don't I don't know. I don't use it anyway. Um, you will likely have your you know, headphones for built-in audio or what whatever built-in audio. Um, analog output audio codec and then digital output SPDIF audio codec. You do not want the digital output. Uh, you want analog output. And now here's where it gets a little weird. Um, it seems like pulse audio works better if you tell it, no, I want something else and then go back to your analog output. Otherwise it'll kind of get stuck on whatever it was on previously. Same thing for input if you're going to receive a signal. So we can just drag that off to the side now. Hopping over to the cat tab, this is for cat control of the 991A. Um, as much as I liked to try to get it to work, I was never able to get the special serial port to work. So keep that disabled, I guess. Um, and then instead we enable Hamlib cat interface. 
uh, radio model Yesu FT991. The A after it, or the lack of that, doesn't matter. It works anyway. Uh, I'm running a baud rate of uh, 38400. Whatever you're running, set it to that. Um, serial port is, at least for my device, is dev TTY USB 0. Um, the way to tell is I'm going to open up a terminal here real quick. And I just did this. Uh, if you run this command, so LL is a shortcut for LS minus or hyphen AL, which means list directories and list every single thing that's in there. Um, and then dev serial by ID is basically the devices that get... Um, that get un understood as serial devices, usually through USB. And the cool thing is when I hit enter here, it tells you, okay, here, USB Silicon Labs, dual USB to UART bridge. This is the 991A. And it tells you that it got sent to dev TTY USB 0 and TTY USB 1. Uh, the rest of this doesn't really matter. So TTY USB 0 is correct here. Uh, you don't need USB 1, just ignore that, um, For at least for this. XML RPC interface, forget about that. The only other thing I said, I mean, obviously I set up a, f a few things in here, but they don't matter to this discussion. The only other thing I'll be using is under frequencies. I've got a couple of frequencies set up here. Um, whether you use FM or packet FM doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, it, it seems to work either way. The only difference is when you run FM mode, it will yell at you, it'll tell you it doesn't work, and then it'll work. So I don't know what the deal with that is. All right, so we can hit OK here. Let's hop over to the radio real quick. I'm going to move... The Baofeng out of the way, we'll use that in a second. And let's go to the menu. And here I am on various FM settings. Um, let's just take a look at, no, forget it. Um, so we'll talk about 74 in a second here. But FM out level is 50 for me. Yours might be a little different. That's fine. Um, Packet, push to talk, select, data key. Packet, port select, oops, is USB. Uh, transmitter gain shouldn't have any effect, but mine's 50. Uh, packet mode 1200, that shouldn't matter. And then you get into repeater shifts. These don't really matter. I'm going to leave this on 70, oh, come on, 74. There we go. And we'll just hit back get back to our waterfall all right so let's send a message uh, what we're gonna do in QSS TV here we'll go to transmit open up the folder and this is a just fine yeah I've got a template set up uh, that I can I can change that if I want to this doesn't seem as awesome because you got red on red here. So we're just going to go with the 73. That's a nice, bold color. Uh, now you notice both down here and on the radio itself, um, the radio is set to the 2 meter calling frequency, which is not what we want right now. So let's go here, and I'm going to set it to the 2 meter slow scan TV frequency. Uh, I haven't done this, but there's really no reason why this shouldn't work for the uh, 20 meter slow scan frequency as well. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I got my microphone here. I'm just going to send a, well, I'm going to um, speak into the radio, send a quick transmission saying that I will be sending out a slow scan TV image. 
and then make some quick switches to the radio and send the slow scan TV. So here we go. This is November 9, Charlie Victor Romeo. I will be sending a test slow scan TV image in just a few minutes here. Okay, now what I do is I go to menu and this FM mic select, we gotta set that, no, not data out level, come on. Yep, try that all over again. Mic, select, rear, enter, back. Now I'm gonna go over to QSS TV and I'm gonna hit play. There, it's coming through the Baofeng. Alright, let's move this out of the way. We're going to go back to the menu, FM mic select, switch it back to mic, enter. This is November 9, Charlie Victor Romeo. This concludes my testing of Slow Scan TV through QSS TV. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Um, I know it can be a little finicky. In Linux, the big thing I've run into is, like I said, uh, if you come in here and this frequency is saying no rig, no matter what you do, uh, just reboot the computer and then it'll start working again. So any questions, uh, feel free to sound off in the comments below. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you do that, because otherwise it won't let you know that I put out a video. And we'll see you on the next video. 73.